Hello everybody, welcome back to EU4, that's a Silk Road achievement run, I'm Paradox Gamer. And we are at war with Karakoronio. I know I'm not saying that right, but uh, whatever. Uh, I've put down the uh, revolt, so that should be over. It is. Um, the unrest is gone as well. And so my troops are moving back east. Um, so the plan here is to simply uh, siege him uh, down a lot more to get some more war score. Where is he going? That way. And uh, then I'm going to release a lot of, uh, of countries from him and then I can attack those countries. So it's going to be easier for me to um, to get through blasphemy. Uh, lose 10 Diplo or 10 Prestige. Uh, well, I think I will uh, gain regain Prestige pretty quickly here in this war. What is my mission again? Convert the Infidel. Yeah, that's going to be a long time. Okay. Yeah, so I want to break him up in, uh, in smaller pieces, and then... Um, oh, Tabar is down, my friends, from the other playthrough. Um, and then I can attack the uh, smaller countries separately. That's a pretty good idea. If I may say so myself. Now, how many troops do we need? They are down to almost nothing. So that's close to cabbage teaching as we can get. Right, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, so unless they have level 3 forts, which I don't think they do. So let's just go ahead and uh, put these guys everywhere. And also here. You go there. You go there. Where else do we want to go? The capital. And this one. And then move the rest of them. I still got 20. Uh, they can't even be here. Yeah, supply limit 24. They can stay there. Siege of Van is over. Put these guys in um, in here. And these guys can stay here. Well, at least the northern part here is completely sieged out. We just want to grab some war score. We also got the ticking, which is take Asarum. Got 20 more points, 22 more points there. We can get pretty high. I'm 
also that's the end of my manpower. So that's uh, interesting to note. Carpet stitching like this um, is costing a lot of manpower because everyone is taking attrition. It's only 1% but still it adds up. Oh, let's go to speed 4. And let's just check here, we got some uh, technology. Admin, uh, admin technology, yeah, let's go and take that. Or maybe we should wait. Yeah, let me just wait until the war is over. I might have to use those admin points. Exceptional year. Get some money or get some tax. Let's just do a quick calculation. So I will get 50% tax modifier for one year. So that's about eight ducats per month. So that is a lot more than 56 ducats. Oh, that would be 50% here. National tax modifier plus 50%. Uh, yeah, so that would be... That would be pretty good. So that was about... Um, yeah, about 8 ducats per month. Yeah, that's good. Another siege is done. Yeah, I'm not gonna siege any more than that. That's fine. So whenever the sieges are done, they will just stay there and not take any attrition. Um, so we can get some more manpower back up. And I'm paused. The Timmies have got to siege something out as well. Oh, they gave that one to me. Nice. Siege of Medicates is over. Mm -hmm. House of the Cloud War on them from the south. The Siege of Yaravan is over. Still got like three sieges left? Yeah. Three. Siege of Tabriz is over. War score is now 74%. Looks like uh, Tabaristan will take this province here. And that's not a silk province. I think he has silk in both of his, yeah. So I'm gonna need that. Now the siege is done. <laughs> we can also take uh, improved relations if we want to. So 86%. Let's see what we can get from the war now. I want these two as I was talking about. Um, and then... What was I talking about? Uh, release nations, Armenia. Yeah, so that's going to be these three and I can attack Armenia. What else have they got? They've got Botan. That would be here. Iraq will be down here, that's not necessary. And Syria over here is not necessary either. Um, so if we do that, it will be a good idea to take this province so we can access them. 
On the other hand, I can just take out Armenia. They will probably get the capital in Yerevan, so I can take this province from them. Then I can start claiming on these guys. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Okay, give me all your money. And if there's anything left... Um, give me war reparations and transfer your... No, just war reparations. Thank you very much and uh, thank you for the deal. Boom. Let's get everybody back home here. Oh, I forgot to release the vassals. Yeah, that's that's fine. I will do that in the next war. Now let's get some claims going. We need a claim on this one. We need a claim on this one. I'll have to wait a few days. What about this one? Yep. Also, I need to. Oh, they were all both were already cores, so there's nothing to core. And we will get the last claim going on December fifth. We can send that away. There we go. Mush. Okay. All right, let's just get our bearings here. So that's how it looks. That didn't give us any um, silk provinces. Let me just remind you where they are. So we got one here in Aleppo. And then we got the uh, four here and two up here. So we are closing in on those. Also, let's uh, grab the uh, admin technology, which allows us to build temples. Gives us a national decision of unify is no adopt the provincial government system. That will give us uh, national unrest, national tax, and lose. Well, I'm not going to be interested in the unrest. And low is only plus one. I think I got more money than I uh, can spend, so let's untick that. And prepare for the war with the Mamluks. That's going to be the next one. Uh, I should also get uh, a claim on this one here. That's going to be claim all the way through here. Okay. No unrest. So everybody's happy, but I need to regain a lot of manpower. So the Memlocks, who are you allied to? Hey Jazz. Hey Jazz. Which are these guys down here. They also have vassals Fesson and Shamar. Shamar is this one, and the Fesson is over here. They're pretty big. <clears throat> Not big enough. Oh, I can build stuff. Let me just pause it for a moment. Let's see. Now, armory. Let's finish those up. Then we got the temples. That will give us even more money. So that will cause the uh, admin to build. Alright, so where are the highest ones? This should be around here. Yeah, 126. Right, so let's go ahead and uh, get some temples up and running.
That's all I can build. Great. On pause. Now let's check the force limit here. We can build four more units. Royal marriage is gone, that's good. I don't want it back. Um, well, let's see here. We got nine cavalry. What is the maximum amount of cavalry? We can have 50% cavalry. And they're still better, right? Yeah, well, they're about equal at the moment. So we need at least four. Like if we have two armies here. Long saves. So we got three there and yeah. So let's go ahead and detach one cav. Uh, that would be, let's go with three cav. Move them here. Then here will be uh, 12 and 6, and here will be 16 and 6. So we will need another 4 infantry units. No, I don't want your royal marriage anymore. I don't want to be your ally. I can take care of myself now. Uh, <laughs> so can I build 4? Yeah, I can. So let's get 4 ASAP, as they are known as. 1. Two, three, four. Right, so that will be two armies of 22 each. And I just need one more power projection, then I can actually support my two leaders. Right now I can only support one. When you reach 25, you'll be able to support one more. Alright, so uh, the claims are about to finish, two of them already. Now we need the other claim on Mamluks here. It's called Araka. We can also get on Tabulus here. Well, let's just get that one. Manpower is back to 11,000. Not that it's not much. Put them in Adana and put the other guys in here. Okay. So we could get this one, improve relations. What I really want is this one province war score cost minus 20%. Oh, that's gotta be nice. Good government policies. Gain stability, gain some points, or gain ducats. Well, I think stability is the most expensive one. It will cost me 167. So let's go ahead and take that one. Also, we can build some more temples. We want timbals. That's the end of my money. Well, it's called investment. I will get the money back sooner or later. Okay, um, I think we're gonna put a break in here. We are ready for just get a little bit more manpower and then we can uh, attack the Mamluks for the uh, Silk Province in Aleppo. That's gonna be in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching this one. Hope to see you again soon. Bye bye!